just had a um, just had some very exciting calls with uh, the writers of uh, Voodoo and Stormwatch and with our editor. Um, starting with issue three, you know, the, the action in Grifter gets um, uh, it starts to ramp up, and really three is the beginning of reissue action sequence pretty much. I mean, it's just action. I mean, it's going to be huge and explosive and it culminates in issue six with this you know, big thing that's going to happen. So after that, uh, you're going to see the character's going to become more s a more important part of the DCU. Uh, he's going to be connected. You'll see, like, that'll kind of be his explosion in the DCU in a much bigger way and he'll be connected with a number of other characters whom you know and other things. You know, so so we, we've mapped out, you know, in very specific ways how we're going to start to connect these books and, you know, some of the connections are already there. You may not realize it, and some of them we're going to you know, have some crossover. It's going to get really exciting. Uh, and, uh, and just more action, more monsters and aliens, and uh, it's more con artistry. Um, so, uh, so we're very excited for, for, for that. Uh, issue 3 comes out this week. That's the uh, 9th of November. And, um, uh, and so... I guess uh, four is December, five January six. So in March, you know, coming into the spring, you're going to really, you know, the, the view of Grifter is going to go from like a 30 degree scope to like an 80 degree scope. You're going to start to see his universe, and, and he will too as a character. I mean, he, he's at this point, he's just kind of on the run. He doesn't know what the hell's going on, and he's just trying to blaze his way to, you know, some sort of whatever. I mean, he's trying to figure it out, and whoever gets in his way is, you know, going to get hurt. But uh, he's going to have a better handle. But he's still going to be the most wanted man in the DCU. That's going to continue to define him, but it'll be for new reasons. Uh, they're not exactly new reasons, but the, the reasons for him being wanted will start to expand, let's say. Um, so that's Grifter. Um, my next big uh, project, uh, which launches in December, December 14th, is The Activity. It's a book at Image Comics. It is an ongoing book. Uh, and Mitch Garretts is the artist. These phenomenally talented people are going to fall head over heels. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it's just, he's, he's an incredible talent. And even from issue one to three, to see how much he's progressed as an artist, I mean, it's, it's scary. It's just scary, you know. I mean, if you're like following this slope to see where it is in another three issues, you know, I mean, his talent is unbounding. So, um, uh, the, the book, by the way, is about. Um, about an elite special forces unit. It's uh, we. It's a fictional unit, but within the uh, all based within the real structure of the military. Uh, within an organization called the Intelligence Support Activity uh, is a, a division called Direct Action. Within Direct Action is Team Omaha. Team Omaha is our team. Uh, it's composed of five members: Weatherman, uh, Bookstore, Speakeasy, Switchfoot, and the new member, our winner of the story, Fiddler. Um, and this team, they are uh, badass. They are elite tactics. They use the bleeding edge tech. They're the problem solvers of the army, and uh, they do it super sweet and quiet and spy like when they need to. And they'll strap on some M4s and you know roll in with grenades when they need to do that too. Uh, but it is very grounded, uh, despite the, the really high action and, and intrigue and all this. It's, it's, it's a grounded series, heavily, heavily researched and all based within the real world of the military, but with this flair, you know. Um, so that'll begin in December, and it's the beginning of a long journey. It's uh, going to start off very episodic, so issues one, two, and three are all great jumping on points. Actually, uh, we're just going to start to like you'll you'll we, we we want the we want the reader to fall in love with the character, not with uh, or, or at least the character, and not to feel like the continuity will be. Um, there is continuity, but this will be a more episodic kind of series uh, where um, you know the, the continuity doesn't dominate the issue to issue storytelling or the two to three part issue storytelling, um, which is really good because we can continue to get people in, and then we're going to subtly, like even in issue one, we started to introduce things that will come down the line, 10, 15 issues, and uh, that's going to be pretty um, interesting for readers. You know, I think you know, and especially to see the way that comes out of real research and could actually happen in the real world, like the, the layers of intrigue and Cold War stuff. Okay. 
Um, and uh, so we're excited. We have guest artists. We've already a guest artist has already completed one issue uh, for issue six. Every five issues, we'll have a guest artist doing a backup story, uh, which helps us keep on schedule and really lets us expand the world of the activity, Team Omaha, a little bit. Um, so uh, we are we are ready for that. Image is throwing some weight behind it. They're retailer incentives for them to get discounts on ordering it and uh, a lot of things like that. And, um, uh, and then this week also uh, is the release of the Jake Ellis trade. Mm. Super spiffy and pretty and shiny and all this. And um, uh, Tanchi and I are very, very proud. He's got some nice backup uh, extra materials in the back and behind the scenes stuff. And uh, for those who've been waiting for the trade, it's here. And so we're, we're very happy with it. And we're looking forward to returning to, uh, to Jake Ellis after the new year and getting some more story out. So um, that's the near future. I've got more stuff coming out next year uh, that, that hasn't been announced. It has been announced. I'm working with Nick Klein on two books. Um, leaked, I guess, more than announced. But um, uh, we can't say anything about those books yet, except that we are moving through them, and they're going to be well, by the time we solicit it, we'll have a great deal of material on both of them done. So we're very excited. Great. Right. Thanks a lot for your time.